What's going on everyone, my name is Muffles the Gang, and welcome to my tutorial on how to get much better FPS in Daisy Standalone. Now this tutorial will only work assuming that you have an NVIDIA graphics card. First thing you want to do is open up NVIDIA Control Panel. When you're in NVIDIA Control Panel, you want to go to Manage 3D Settings here. You then want to scroll down and go to Power Management Mode. Now normally it'll be on Adaptive, but we don't want Adaptive. You want to be on Prefer Maximum Performance. Click that, click Apply. Now that that's done, in major cities such as Novo, Cherno or Electro, you'll notice a much bigger increase in FPS due to not only the graphics card pulling more than its TDP is factory allowed, but also being able to ramp up and stay at higher clock speeds with much more power and voltage. Second of all, you want to get out of this, you want to go over to GeForce Experience. Assuming you've downloaded it, you want to click on it. You want to scroll down here and you want to come to Day Z. I don't know why there's two of them, but you want to optimize them. Like so. And if you have a look here, these are the optimal settings that NVIDIA recommends for your graphics card. For instance, I'm using the GTX 980, so as you can see, these are the settings that I play on, such as very high, very high, very high, shadows, low, etc. This will help your graphics card to really use itself to the best of its abilities. Now thirdly, you want to come up to this PC. Now this tip will only work assuming you, that you have a solid state drive. A link to a really good one, such as the Samsung 840 EVO, will be in the description. But you come up to manage, you go to disk management. Now this tip won't necessarily help with raw game FPS, but it will help with loading and rendering times. You, come, you should come to the SSD that has the most space available, right click and go to properties. Select Ready Boost. Now, assuming it'll be on Do Not Use This Device, as it will be unless you've already preset it, you should then click on Use This Device. Let it be on whatever it is on at the moment, and click Apply. Now, what's happened is this SSD is now a cache for your hard drive, which helps dramatically in performance. And last but not least, you want to download MSI Afterburner. The link is in the description. What you do is you open it up and you'll see this thing here. Now first of all, I like to work from the top down. Yeah, boy. So we'll set the core voltage to plus 40. Enter the power limit. Take that as far as you can. Then core clock, I always like 200 plus. Although it's not massive, it will really help. Memory clock, normally 100 higher than the core clock, so we'll go 300 and then we'll hit apply. This has now overclocked our graphics card. As we can see here, we can link and we can prioritize whether we want it to be hot or powerful. <laughs> I like to link it so if it gets too hot, the power will be turned down automatically. But normally this will be a massive increase in FPS, again, especially in larger cities where it really needs the power to render. For some reason this hasn't saved. And as for the fan speed, you just go ahead and leave that on auto because otherwise if you leave it on 100% or so, it will get very, very loud and auto knows what it's doing. Thank you to all my subscribers and survivors who have taken the time out of their day to watch my video. As I said before, the links to everything are in the description. And as always, my name is Muffles the Gang. And, um...